In this video we'll be looking at the sanitize challenge on Hack the Box. So it's a web challenge in the easy category and the description says can you escape the query context and log in as admin at my super secure login page. So if we try and create an instance here, take a copy of that and access the page. You see we just have a login page here asking us for a username and a password so let's have a look at the source code. Nothing too interesting here, we just have a login box. We do have a comment at the bottom saying slash debug. So let's take a look at that page. And even without viewing the source, it'll just give us the source code here, which is our flask code here. The database is getting created. We have a login function where if the post request is sent, so this login form, once the post request is sent, it's going to take the username that we entered and, it, and the password that we entered, it's going to plug them into this SQL query. So it looks like a standard or a classic SQL injection vulnerability where if we select all from users where the username equals the username we entered and then all from and uh, where the password equals the password we created. You can see here that we have the login get as well username and if if we uh, sorry admin and if we use the admin user then it's going to return this flag variable as well. So let's go test it out. If we go back to the page here, let's just test test the standard login first of all. If we just do admin admin and hit sign in, we get must learn to think outside the box. Must learn to think outside the box. Um, so this time we're going to also do admin, but in the password box we're going to use the SQL query. So it's it's not going to let me show you what I'm typing here. So let me. Let me open up Sublime. And essentially here, for anybody who hasn't dealt with SQL injection vulnerabilities before, we're selecting all users from the table, user table, where the username equals admin and the password equals whatever we put in here. But if we put the password in, if we exit the statement using this quote, let me go back to the code. If we exit the statement with the quote, we can then add more to this SQL statement. So you'll see here that this password is surrounded by these two quotes. So if we put another quote here, we're essentially able to extend this SQL statement and enter our own information. And that means we can say if username equals admin and the password equals, let's say, pass. And then we add this quote and say or one equals one. And then take away this quote because we want it to we want to make sure all those quotes align up at the end. And essentially now we're saying select all users from the user table where the username equals admin and the password equals pass or one equals one. And one or one always equals one. So no matter what we have in as the password here, no matter what the admin password is, it should allow us to log in. If we take a copy of that, paste that there and hit sign in. And you'll see here that we've got our flag. Another nice uh, easy cha web challenge there to get started. Hope you've enjoyed this.